as uh, whether Chihotska and uh, Josvik can uh, get medals for the host nation here. It's been an OK championships for them so far. A couple of pullouts due to positive COVID tests. Brilliant from Ali Baker then. 202.73, her best. Twice a European uh, age group silver medalist, Isabel Boffi. Another 202 athlete, coached by uh, Luke Gunn, University of Birmingham. Angelica Chihotska, 58 outdoors. European champion in 2016 outdoors indeed. Laura Hoffman. So a bit of a surprise that she makes it through to the final. University Games fourth placer in 2019. Keely Hodgkinson, well, 19 years of age, she only turned that on Wednesday. Could the young Brit do it? Diana Josby, 159. Indoors, 157 out. Fifth place at the Olympics. Bronze medalist at these championships in 2015 and outdoors in 2014. Well, you just wonder though whether experience will pay off or the incredible touch of class and composure that was seen by Femke Boll will be replicated with Keely Hodgkinson here. And hey, we've uh, seen Jakob Inga Britson win two gold medals. On your mark. As Phil said, now he's a couple of years older and wiser. How will Keely Hodgkinson fare here? So Josvik, Hodgkinson, Hoffman, Chihotska, Boffi and Baker to remind you of that lineup. Talent throughout. Are there going to be any team game plans? I feel as though I doubt it. Individuals focus on themselves and they'll focus on trying to find some space and Timing this one to perfection. Keeping a cool head when it matters. In many ways, they've done one of the hardest parts, getting through to the final, where there's an opportunity. Just the six athletes, of course, involved in an indoor 800-meter final, negotiating the heats and semi-finals can be tricky. The tactical battles, the caginess, or maybe is most going to be seen in the final, Keely Hodgkinson, two years in a row, she smashed her personal best in Vienna. European junior indoor record. It was a world junior indoor record until beaten by Athing Moo of the United States last month. Coached by Trevor Painter, the Lee Harrier. Well, she's proven that it's not just times that she's produced, it's good performances at this level. Josvik then just behind her on the inside. Then. Chihotska. They have the senior medals and the experience of being in an Olympic final. But Keely Hodgkinson holding them off so far. But for how long? Joss Vig looks as though she's ready to strike in behind. Ellie Baker in fourth place at the moment. Where's Isabel Boffi and Laura Hoffman just out of shot? Are they able to go with this pace set by Keely Hodgkinson doing exactly what she did in the heat in the semi final? such confidence she's taken but she is just 19 years of age still holding off Joss Vick who tries to chase tries to come through but Keely Hodgkinson becomes the champion the youngest ever at these championships in the women's 800 meters Jane Finch was previously the holder of that record having won in 1977 Keely Hodgkinson only just turned 19 and she is the European indoor champion at senior level. Incredible stuff. Well, uh, seems just yesterday she won the European youth title. But uh, she was 18 a few days ago. And her birthday on Wednesday. One year older, still a teenager. You thought at one point that Josvik and uh, Chihotska would come through. Maybe they would combine down this home straight but Josvik almost uh, shaking her head resigned to getting the silver medal it's close at the end wasn't it goodness me as we wait for the times to come up on screen incredible stuff from Keely Hodgkinson Phil 
Yes, well, I actually was wondering when they went through 400 metres in 65.2 whether Hodgkinson was doing the right thing because it seemingly was set up for Josvik and maybe Chichotska to attack her over the final 200 metres. But all credit, without a doubt, to the young Briton for being able to hold on over that last lap. She had the inside lane, so everybody had to go around her if they were going to take the gold away from her. And in the end, well, Josvik was finishing very, very quickly, but just didn't have that extra element of acceleration to take her past Hodgkinson. Just in terms of speed endurance, Hodgkinson over the final two laps was absolutely brilliant. She just held it on and made it a real test of attrition for everyone else behind her. Phenomenal result for Hodgkinson, who almost certainly will be the youngest individual winner at these championships. Even Yaroslava Maucic, should she go on to gold in the high jump, she's still a little bit older than her. Indeed, wow. 203.88, so it wasn't all about the time in the end, it was about the racecraft.